Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Cafe. My name is Mohamed Ali and in the previous video tutorial as you know that we have uh, successfully saved the uh, date, time and the type. I mean the online status of a user basically and also the online, offline and the last seen stat of a user. Now what we will be doing is that we will retrieve the last seen of a user in this video tutorial and we will uh, we will display that last scene on our chat activity here uh, I mean when we want to send a message to any person I mean to our friends basically okay so here we will display the last scene and then we will work on the uh, online green dot or you can say the online state or the offline state so yeah let's do that so go to the Android studio and first of all close this activity right now and now first of all we have to go to the chat custom bar and this is our chat custom bar and now we have to design it properly so here we have our this username okay change this margin top for this to uh, 4 dp and we need to copy this text view okay to display the last scene of user so copy this and pass that here and now first of all uh, change this ID of this to custom user underscore last underscore C and this should be below so first you can simply write layout below ID copy the ID of profile name and pass that here now the next thing is to change this text for it to last scene so yeah that's it and now the uh, margin top for it will be 25 dp you can see this okay so the next thing is to remove this text style from here and let's change the text size to 16 sp so yeah that's it and now we have to uh, change the profile picture size we can little bit increase it to 50 instead of 40 okay and now uh, go to the chat activity here we have our chat activity and first of all uh, we have added a text view which is our uh, custom last scene user last scene so let's initialize that here first so we can give it a name as uh, receiver or you can call it as user user last scene and now uh, here we are calling this method initialize fields where we basically initialized all our fields if you scroll down then here it is initialize fields so here we can simply initialize that field which is our user last scene equals to text view find view by id or dot id dot custom last user last scene make sure to put a semicolon here now the next thing is uh, to retrieve the i mean this data which is the inside the user's node and for each and every user okay which is specific so the user stat and then we have that time and type so to do that what we gonna do is here you can see we have this method display receiver info which is basically a method where we are retrieving the user's information okay you can see this is the profile image so here uh, th this is basically the root ref if I show you then this is basically a database reference root ref which is this one okay and then we have a firebase auth and then the current user id which we are getting using this firebase auth so by using this root ref i mean uh, if we scroll down then you will be able to see it by using this reference what we're gonna do is that here we can simply uh, retrieve the uh, this information which is this user stat not content okay the sub child not basically so here we can say after that there is final string and here first we have to uh, retrieve the type on the basis of type we will decide the last scene in the online state or you can say the offline state of a user so this will be data snapshot dot child and the child we have is the user stat 
inside this we have a sub childs or you can say the childs of a user stat node which is type dot get value dot to string make sure to put a semicolon here and now we can copy paste this line of code for the uh, date and time paste that twice so the second one will be the date and the third one will be the time and let's give it some proper name which is last date and this one will be last time and make sure to change this child to date and this one is to time which are basically our keys of this user stat if I show you then you can see this time date and type and this is the user stat node and now after that what we're gonna do is that here we can say if type dot equals to if the type is equals to online then we can just uh, instead of the last scene we can display the uh, user uh, I mean the status that is online so we have our field which is user last scene so we can say dot set text and it will be simple online but what if uh, the user is not online then we can display the last scene to the other users I mean to his friends or to her friends so we can say user last scene dot set text and here we can first write this last scene then uh, these two columns and after that add this concatenation sign plus and then we want to display the time so we can say last time then concatenation sign some space and after that we can uh, display the last date and if you want then you can add some space here okay between the time and date so yeah that's it and now now the next thing which is left is that is in the previous video tutorial first of all let's come here to the friends activity so this is a friend class friends activity and on our friends activity here we uh, have this method which is update user status which we added in the previous video tutorial copy this method from here control c go to the chat activity and here on our chat activity you can simply pass that method also on the chat activity okay and now uh, we have to come here at the top and here we have our we need to create a reference user ref so here we can say users ref and inside our own create method we have to create a reference to the users node so by using this user ref which will be up to the child users and the current user ID here we are getting using the Firebase auth and we are storing that inside this message sender ID okay so we don't need to uh, retrieve the current user ID again so you can simply change this to users ref which we cleared just now and this online user ID to message sender ID and now we have to call this method update user status inside here the send message button so whenever we send the message then it should update our last scene and the online or offline state okay if we are online for example so here we can call that method and we can say online so yeah that's it and now let's run the app we have to test the app on two android devices so i will run the app on another android emulator also so you can see that the app is running now on both android devices and from this mobile phone i am uh, logged in my uh, own account is mohammed ali and now if i go to the friend list and currently i have three friends you are seeing this okay and on this android mobile phone device i am logged in using Riga peterson account which is friend she is friend with me okay and if i go to the friend list here you will also see that that she uh, i am friend with her okay so if i come here and let's send message to my account i mean go to the chat activity and here you can see that the online status is online and to her it is showing that is mohammed ali is online 
and also if I come here and now from here if Rita Peterson uh, if I check her account then here you can see to me it is showing that is Rita Peterson is online now and let's say if Rita Peterson minimize her app so here you can see that is the stat is changed to the last scene so this is the time that is on which time uh, where, what is the last scene basically of Rita Peterson and this is the date and here you can see that is the time is now uh, 540 but now it's changed to 541 okay so it is working fine I mean this is incredible now also let's uh, check it from here that is uh, how it will work from the Peterson side so from here if I come here to Muhammad Ali then here you can see now I am online and now if I minimize my app then here you can see that is to her it is showing the last scene of me that is where uh, when I was logged in uh, or I mean what is basically my last scene uh, or you can say the last time so here you can see 5.41 p.m. and this is the date and also if I come here on the app and here you can see that is the stat change to online if I run I mean if I uh, go to the app again so both are now online so yeah it is working fine I mean this is incredible this is amazing so that's it for this video and in the next video tutorial what we will be doing is that uh, here we will display the green dot so that a user can see that how much friends of the online user is online currently I mean at that time when he want to talk to someone so here we will display the green dots alongside with it if a user is online. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.